preferences or just No, I use this um, dirty girl tool at home. I didn't bring it because I'm always worried I lose my tools at workshops. And I didn't know if I could check, like, get it in the hand luggage either. That's like my favorite. It has like two needles sticking out. Those are feathering knives, just. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw more parts so I can finish the horse. And at this point, I would clean it up more, but I think I'm done with her. Her butt needs some work, but I can do that later. <laughs> And she's already sitting on her slab, so ideally I load it with that shrinkage slab and then it can get thrown out. But that will help her shrink to the, because she's only attached here. And it's a very weak attachment. I probably should find another place where to slip and score her onto the pot. And so the pot basically makes her stand. But the better you can hide all those like tricks and stilts, that would be an interesting topic in class. Like just figuring out stilts and how people make things work and hide the stilts. It's good to look at um, marble sculptures for that because you never have like really a freestanding horse. There's always something underneath the horse to make the horse roll up. I wish they would clean up less. I like the Ron Myers aesthetic because it looks like it's made really fast, but it's like every piece thrown together is nailed. Like, just like, he does it in such a maturity, it looks so good. I kind of want to change it somehow. I want to be way more fluid and way more process oriented, but I'm still stuck in making it. Maybe someday it breaks through. At one point I got so frustrated, I kept all the seams. The piece sold immediately. Like everywhere where it didn't clean up the slip lines. That's the danger with like working constantly for shows. You're like always doing <clears throat> what's safe, you don't experiment. And it's the worst, for one show, I, I, I switched clay body. And I made two weeks work with a different clay body because I thought it would be fun to have like, not just brown, but maybe sidewalk gray <laughs> in the show too. I lost every single piece and I had already such a short amount of time to develop the body of work for that show. That's why it's good to go to residencies where you can, you don't have the tools and you don't have the clay, and it forces you to come up with new solutions. And it may not right away um, mix with your work after it, but eventually something will get uh, come out of it. So would you suggest the residency? Our oh, residencies are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They're like camps. You get to be a kid again. <laughs> <laughs> you treat lots of other what well, depends on you know, if you like the people you're with. Workshops too. If you have sassy workshop people like you. I taught this workshop in Basel Horizon and there was this woman 
And she was just so animated. Like I told them about my fatio for what I had created at Ensika at one point, and then we talked about Brown Show, and then they all oh, it should be called Shit Show. And so it could be just going to Ensika. Have you seen the Shit Show? It's a shit artist. And it was like so everyone got really into it, and then she made this piece with like a woman sitting on the toilet <laughs> and the paper roll. And she was just a hoop. She had me so entertained, and later I find out she's my neighbor. She <laughs> looks like a house, like the, we have a house between us, and now we're friends. <laughs> but we had so much fun. I think we had so much fun that everyone else in the workshop, they don't like us. <laughs> we were like on the other level of silly. Like beyond silly, we were, I, I assume, it wasn't funny maybe anymore for most of them. <laughs> I had fun. She had fun. <laughs> yeah, I think residencies are really great. They're a great way for, depends on what you, I mean, you have to know what you want to accomplish. I think that's the important part. It's like grad school. You need to know what you want to achieve while you're there, instead of going in with that, I don't know, what should I do? I, I, attitude. So I think you get a lot out of that this year. Pretty focused. I think the hot point is to get it. And the hard part is to get them, yeah. But it's so much fun. You like meet all those people. And some people, like, they go into the residencies and they set themselves up. They bring everything, right? The printmaker. He, like, moves into the Beamer Center and the entire studio looks like a showroom. Yeah. The next day he arrives. And he has it figured out. And he does it at every residency. And then people come and they see his work and he's like carving on one piece, which he already brought from home. And he's carving it. He's slow, but the whole point of doing this residency is networking. And he set himself up with like three or four solo shows for the coming events. So he got a solo show for the Des Moines Museum, got a solo show in Omaha somewhere. And so some people roll that way, like they come in with a track and they, they present themselves, they use it that way. And they make appointments and dinners with the director of the residency. And then there are people like me, <laughs> who just hang out with their peers, get fun, don't do any networking, don't get anywhere. But yeah, they're amazing the way you can play it however you want. I think Sko Hayden is supposed to be Really good. What is Skohagen? But I don't even know how you get in there. But if you play Skohagen right, you should. You should. If you play it right, you end up with a New York City gallery. Yeah. Out of this because 
I think I got a lot of invitations from people like Linda Gunstrom. <coughs> I, I would have to like rethink and like map it out. But things have happened. People know my work and how it developed. And they actually come to me and they say they followed you since then. And, yeah. and they wouldn't see it if I don't apply to those residencies and shows. Artsland is really good. If you, um, I believe if you load up your images to Artsland, after a while Google will find it. And then like when someone puts your name in, your Google images show up. And so you want to like when someone types in your name and like does images, you want like as much images of your artwork on the web as possible. What is that? Artsland. Artsland. I don't know if it still works, but um, I tried all kinds of things to be visible on the web, and then I followed the pictures back, and they always ended up to be from Artsland. 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 Uh you notice that your uh, figurines kind of look like that? Like, do you try to do that? Like what? Like me? Yeah. Really? Well, I don't know if you ever had your hair like that. <laughs> I'm just the saying. The beefy sausage chair. <laughs> <laughs> I, just bought a, I just bought a journal in Germany. I always was talking about it. The next Antica conference, I want to wear it. <laughs> 